even walk it. Took me a lot of time, but I finally got the thing running. I figured it's yours. It's the least we can do to thank you. Thanks. Goodbye, guys. Which your son is alive? No, it's first time this one. No, no, no. Got us over him. Ready? Yeah. Cole? Okay, I'm recording. Now concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Anything I did? Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. <laughs> Jody, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Did you see something? No. No, it was... Uh, it was all blurry. I didn't see any. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell him. Nathan! Someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Ooh. Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Listen, I never got around to telling her I need more time. No. Professor Dawkins, she needs to come with me today. I, I have my orders. Christ, she's only a child. My assistant and I are the only family she's got. She doesn't have any idea what's out there. Look, Dawkins, I see your side of it. All right, I do. But orders are orders, right? You gonna bring her to me or do I have to go and get her? Jody, could you come here, please? What's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents... The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's gonna take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. 
today. You're joking, right? I'm not going anywhere. What am I, a toy? Some kind of a test subject? Did you ever just stop and think about what I want? Johnny, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. Oh, so that's just it? You know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. I'll go get my things. <laughs> Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. the hell out of you, princess. I'll come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. Time to go. Don't
Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan. I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... I you know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Start cooking. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again! I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Fuck you for reminding me. Ryan is not like that. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. The trash can in the kitchen. What kind of it? something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. It's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden.
Come on, you can have one car. It means that you will go. So far, so good. Use a walk. Please, I'm trying to do it. Well, I need, I guess I need to be independent at some point. So All right, add the sake for flavor. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are going to love this. <gasps> you know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not going to stop me from seeing Ryan. <sighs> oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Where's the bedroom? Where's your change? Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Too. Let's quickly get changed, I also remember. I've got a shark on it.
really didn't need help me. Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it. Okay. What should I wear? Okay. Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. I don't know. Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant, je ne sais quoi. Classy. It's the new me, and it shows that I can adapt to any situation. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. Huh. 
Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. Wow, it's very romantic. <laughs> Should we put it for me, no? I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me, so. I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> Want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. Oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is, it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you, where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. That's small, but you know, it's got a little... Did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brother still live there, but I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink, and, uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army. You know, it was for the action, travel, adventure. <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. You know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because the 
this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure for me. <laughs> you need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> Beef, right? Yeah. No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. Good. Good. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what, what, two years? I know almost nothing about you. I mean, there's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me. And, well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So. Yeah, your parents. Do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm. I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Iden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I'm making progress. Yep. Number one for you two. So like, is he here now, listening to us? Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you um? Are you married or anything? No, no, no but yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years. And uh, yeah, it couldn't work. I mean, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? Yes. I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. No. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. I has got nothing to do with this. Stop. Stop. Jody, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not, um, it's not your fault. There's, there's just, there's some things that I can't forget. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I better go. <laughs> <laughs> 